What's up, YouTube? I'm Quentin Congress, a.k.a. QC. Welcome to another edition of Talking and Grubbing, where I provide the sports commentary while grubbing on some good food, as I'm about to do right now, as I bite to this delicious, juicy red apple. Mm, mm, mm. I'm trying to eat healthier, y'all. I'm trying. I ain't, you know, kicked the battle of the sweets yet, but I'm working on it. And the reason why I got on my Cleveland Cavaliers skull cap is because my fro was having a bad hair day. So just bear with me. Wednesday, Snoop Dogg appeared on FS1's Undisputed with Skip Bayless, Shannon Sharp, and Joy Taylor. And they were reacting to Colin Kaepernick's comments about the late Fidel Castro. Going, in, He was in Miami as his 49ers were preparing to play the Miami Dolphins. He wore a t-shirt that featured Fidel Castro and Malcolm X. He, was, he claimed that he was showing more support towards Malcolm X than Castro, but he praised Castro for some of the things he did do in Cuba while he was president as far as improving the literacy rate and also providing free health care. A lot of Cuban, Cubans, especially Cuban media members in Miami, were deeply offended that Kaepernick would wear that t-shirt in Miami because a lot of their families were split up due to Castro and also they felt that he was a tyrant and had a lot of his um, opposers killed. And Snoop Dogg commented saying that Colin Kaepernick needs to choose whether he wants to be a football player or a revolutionary because he can't do both. I got to disagree with Snoop on that because there have been a lot of athletes who have been athletes as well as activists like Tommy Smith and John Carlos, you know, who raised the black power fist in the 68 Olympics after they won their bronze and gold medals, respectively, for human rights. Also, the late, the, the late great Muhammad Ali, he was also an activist. I mean, he... Um, lost his heavyweight titles and even spent time in prison just because he wouldn't participate in the Vietnam War. He also teamed up with Jim Brown, Bill Russell, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in the now famous Ali Summit in Cleveland to form the Black Economic Union where, it's, where it was to educate on black people on economic growth and development. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I'm also catching the cold, you know. Change of what? Well, not change of weather. I don't care what the calendar says. It's the first day of winter, especially if you live in Cleveland, Chicago, or anywhere in the Midwest in the Northeast. But anyway, Snoop, you tried to negotiate some type of peace treaty with the police and the people in the inner cities of L.A. this summer. A lot of people may look at you as a hypocrite for that because almost 25 years ago, on Deep Cover, your first hit, you were talking about 187 on an undercover cop. So, you can't have it both ways. One minute you're talking about killing a cop, then next minute you're talking about we need to respect the police, we need to, you know, be more understanding. Anyway, that's my commentary. I'm going to leave the link for the video in the description box below. Like, comment on this video. Do you agree with Snoop or do you stand with Kaepernick? And also, subscribe to my channel. Y'all have a good one. Peace. See you next time.